What's up everyone? Welcome back to the weekend update of Reef RX. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a giveaway soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that notification. So what I'm giving away is one of these. Um, it's Orp Orpec Aquarium LED Lighting Lens. So this is what I use on my tank. I have a brand new one sitting around waiting for you guys. So it comes with um, four different lenses. It has a big, uh, much bigger lens. Like I used to use a polyp lab one, but it was fit for like an iPhone. But this has a nice wide lens. You can put this on uh, your camera. You can put it on a GoPro. I use it on my GoPro. Um, I use the GoPro to film these videos. Uh, or you can put it on your phone. So I'll be giving one of these away in the coming weeks. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, so in today's video, I'll give you a quick overview or a quick update on the tanks. Let you guys know how things are going. I did uh, get an algae barn order in today of some pods, so we'll open up that box together. Start up my brine shrimp culture again. My last culture died. I think I thought my tank was too small. I was using a 10 gallon tank, so I upgraded to the 20 gallon. I, I had one sitting around, so I set up the 20 gallon. Um, so we'll get that going. And I did send the ICP test to the lab, like I had mentioned on last week's video. I was going to share that with you guys. I haven't gotten the results in yet. I was hoping to get them in, in time for this video, but they didn't come in yet. So I will share those with you hopefully next weekend. Um, by then I'll get the results and I can share that with you. And then I ended up this week, I ended up moving one of my Neptune dosing units over to my other tank. So now that I'm dosing all for reef, don't need four dose heads on my tank. So um, got each tank dosing all for reef. It's all coming out of one dosing container. I have like a split going on either side for the lines. And uh, let's take a look at the tank behind me and then we'll go from there. So here's the water box tank. Um, not much has changed as far as update wise since my last video. Uh, if you remember correctly, some of these corals, I think the Monty had fallen off since the last video. I ended up knocking off that candy cane coral. So I put I glued those back on today. Um, tanks looking really good. This torch looks like it's um, just it's done so much better since that clown has hosted to that torch so that's looking really good and yeah everything is just growing good oh, all these hammers uh, the hammer and the frog spawn these look like they're splitting more as well so they've been thriving in this tank since I've got them so I'm super happy with that you can see that Blasto's really happy big same with that candy cane so everything's looking awesome in here I had some uh, if you remember from the last video, I had some dinos in this tank. It was looking pretty bad. There's still, still some right there. I added a couple more tiger conches. I had them from my other tank. I had two in this tank originally, so I, I grabbed two more tiger conches out of the other tank to put them in here, and they've definitely been helping with the problem. I did get my microscope to look to see what kind of dinos I had. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to that stuff, so I wasn't 100% sure. But what I read, it looked like the tiger conches um, would eat those dinos. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. I'll leave them in here for a bit longer, and then if I have to throw them back in the other tank, I will. But, yeah, so this tank's looking good. No changes to the sump or anything since my last video. These mangroves uh, that I threw in here last week and ended up dying. I did add another light over here, but uh, it was just too late for them. So no worries there. The clear filter fleece rollers have actually been cooperating for me, which is which is different. So I'm happy about that. One of my controllers had died, so I reached out to their support and they sent me another one. So that's that. So let's go quickly take a look at the uh, 40 gallon tank. All right, so here we are at the 40 gallon, my anemone tank. These anemones have been looking awesome. They've gotten a lot bigger um, over the past few weeks, as I mentioned in last week's video, and they still continue to thrive. So happy with those. I do have one anemone down there in the bottom left. That one kind of just, I don't know what happened one day. It was looking great like one of these, and all of a sudden it just shriveled up to nothing. I thought it had died, but it's been moving around the tank a lot. And... Um, it's starting to actually look a little bit better. So I'm hoping that one will come back to life. Um, this little Monty coral down there is looking pretty good. And then those my little zoanthas I have there. Got a lot of bubble algae. I only have one emerald crab in here, so I'll probably pick up another one to help out with some of this bubble algae. But uh, I started dosing Alpha Reef to this um, with my Neptune doser, so I plan to not do any water changes on this tank either. So 
Um, let's go take a look at the LG Barn box and get that opened up. So here is my LG Barn order that I just received in yesterday. I ordered the, uh, I subscribed to the EcoPods. So when you subscribe, I guess, to the four pack, they send you a fifth one free. So I should have five in this box. My first order, I did not get five, but they said because it was my first order. So this is my second one for the subscription. So hopefully there are four things of EcoPods in this tank. So let's take a look. They always do a really nice job packing their boxes and they, I've never had any issue ordering, whether it's middle of summer or winter. So I got my LG Barn sticker here and they always send a Swedish fish. So there should be one on the top somewhere. Here he is on the side. And there are my eco pods. I only see four. I guess they only sent me four this time again. Not sure why, I'll have to reach out to the support. There should be five, but um, probably hard to see, but these guys look like they're doing pretty good. So I'll dose, I'll feed these to my tank tonight. And then other projects, I got the uh, RODI unit going here today, making my RODI water. I don't keep it here permanently and like on the counter. I have a, I store it on my shelf in the other room. Um, so just take it out when it's needed. So let's go uh, take a look at the brine shrimp culture I'm going to get started on. All right, so here's the brine shrimp culture that I'm starting on. Um, so again, this is an upgraded uh, tank. It's a 20 gallon versus the 10. Threw some live rock in there that I had in the sump for my other tank. So um, here is my little hatchery thing. So this thing is super easy to use. You just take your uh, brine shrimp eggs and you scoop some and put it on the outside. I don't want to scoop too much because I think my problem was I had too many shrimp for too small of a tank. So I'll probably just do two scoops. That's one. And that's two. So that is that. I'll put this cover on and within 24, I know they say 48 hours, but within 24 hours, I guarantee you I'll have some of these hatched. I'll throw them into this tank, feed them some spirulina powder, and hopefully can grow them out to adult size and uh, we'll go from there. So that's about it for my update this weekend. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. And like I said, I am going to be doing that giveaway, so make sure to subscribe so when that video comes out, um, you can enter into that giveaway. And I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.